Hey yo, what's up YouTube? It's I Can Swim here with another great techie tip that I just came across. So I'm using the new iTunes. It came out, I guess, yesterday. Um, or the day before, whatever. I just downloaded it. Anyways. So I came into a little problem and um, I came up with a great solution. So I just want to share it with you guys. Um, if you're... If you're trying to um, add album work to a movie or folk or a song or whatever, or a TV show, um, and you get this, um, let's go, I've already done it with some of these, so let's say you want to do, uh, where are we here, um, just a movie, um, and when you do click info, you don't get the album artwork tab. Um, let me just bring it down so you guys can see it here. Um, if you can see here, I have summary, info, video, sorting, options, and lyrics. Now, usually there's going to be an artwork tab, but for whatever reason, I found in this new one, you don't get it. So... That being the case, I came up with a little solution. Um, so what you want to do is highlight two videos. Um, two videos or um, songs on your iPod. So I'm going to highlight 21 and 21 Jump Street. Just like that. Um, so they're both highlighted. And now when you right click and do Get Info, you just say, are you sure you want to edit information for multiple items? Just say yes. Now you actually get this artwork box right here. Um, and what this does, when you double click it, now you can add your photo to both of them. And I know this might sound um, wrong <laughs> because um, you only want it for the one video. But this is where my... Um, little tip comes in so for 21 jump street that's the one i'm gonna add um you just find a find one you like so um let's go with this one 21 jump street so then you're gonna save that image wherever it doesn't matter mine's just in pictures then you're gonna come back to itunes you're gonna click on that artwork box like double click it and it will bring up your folder then now you just select the image my 21 jump street one you do open and then you just apply it and now it's gonna apply the changes to both files but now when you just click on that 21 and you do get info now if you guys can see here for whatever reason oh wait still not high enough for whatever reason now you have summary info video sorting options lyrics and now you have that artwork tab so it's just I it almost seems like iTunes just has to get used to you changing the artwork <laughs> I know that sounds a little crazy but that's what I found then now you just you can delete that image and make sure you don't exit out of the tab like the get info tab, because that will, I'm, I haven't experimented with it yet, but it might actually wreck it. So you just, you would delete the image for the other video, and then you would just do the same thing, rinse and repeat, go find the image for that next video or song or whatever, or album, then you would just delete this one, this little delete button, and then you would just go over and do the add and you would add um, the picture that you selected and you want to be here. And when you're done with that, you just press OK and you're all set. That is a little, almost a loophole I found. So I found it really useful and I think you guys will too. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.